For the screencast today for um, Algebra 1, we're going to take a look at translating from symbols, uh, words into symbols. So we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We'll start off with uh, ones that mean addition. Here we have the word sum, increased by, and more than. So let's take a look at each of these. The sum of 7 and x, we would write that as 7 plus x. 5 increased by a number, we would write 5 increased by a number, and I'm going to use n here for the number, and 12 more than a number. That means 12 is added to the number. Now, technically speaking, we know that n plus 12 is the same as 12 plus n, since addition is commutative, but 12 is being added to the number. It's 12 more than the number. All right, let's take a look at uh, subtraction words, words that mean subtract. We have difference between, decreased by, less than, and minus. So let's take a look at how these translate. The difference between a number and 6. Let's, in this case, you use x as the number. x subtract 6. A number decreased by 4. So we take the number and we subtract 4 from it. 10 less than a number. Now, I'm going to put a little uh, star beside this one because this one's a little tricky. We have to be careful. 10 less than a number means we're subtracting 10 from a number. So n minus 10. Just like more than meant the 12 is added to the number, less than means the number is subtracted from, in this case 10 is subtracted from the number. And then 4 minus the number would just be 4 minus, we'll call it x. Let's take a look at a few more examples now with multiplication and division. So here's the words that mean multiply. We have product, times, and of. So let's take a look at, at these problems. The product of 3 and a number, we'd have 3n. And remember when the number is written directly beside the variable, that means multiply. 5 times a number, here I'll use x for our number, so we'd have 5x. And half of a number, we take a number and we multiply it by half, so we'd have one half n. And last but not least, let's take a look at division. We have quotient and divided by. So let's take a look at those. The quotient of a number and 10 means we'd have a number divided by 10. And then a number divided by 16, we'd just have x divided by 16, or you could actually use the division symbol if you wanted to as well. So those are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, translating from words into symbols. Don't forget to do the uh, questions uh, through the internet to make sure you understood this screencast.